Perhaps you're wondering if you are a manipulative person. In this video, I'm going to describe some of the signs of being manipulative and what the real problem of being manipulative is, because many don't even think there is a problem with being manipulative in the first place. After all, why shouldn't I be manipulative? If I can influence other people in a positive direction, aren't there positive forms of manipulation, positive forms of using my environment to get what I want and to create win-win situations for all of us? Cannot my main strategies help other people be a little bit happier to do a bit better for themselves in life? One of the first signs of being manipulative is that you are overly concerned with your environment. What that means is that you're constantly thinking about what other people are thinking. You're constantly trying to analyze and process and anticipate other people's emotions before they happen. Perhaps you're looking for subtle signs that another person is upset with you or unhappy. Perhaps you're looking for signs that other people have bad intentions or that they're trying to manipulate you. Perhaps you're overly concerned with what other people want from you or expect from you. These are all signs of being manipulative. And the reason why they're a sign of being manipulative is because it's, uh, we only do these things in order to find ways to navigate and adapt and adjust our behavior to other people's needs and expectations. Sign number two that you're a manipulative person might be that, for example, you find yourself adjusting what you're going to say or how you're going to say something in order to make it better appreciated or seen or understood by other people. You're constantly shifting your language or word choice to suit other people. You compromise your own truth and your own feelings in order to get the other person on your side. You hide information or evidence because you don't think other people will approve or appreciate them. Sign number three that you're a manipulative person is that you're not very concerned with other people. You don't think of other people in terms of how they influence your life in a positive or negative way. To you, other people don't really exist in the first place. Other people's needs and feelings don't really matter. Only your impression of their feelings do. Only your op opinions about who they are matters. And so you feel like you're a solitary individual living in a world, the only person with a mind of their own in a world full of automatons. When you think that only you are the thinking person, only you are the person that is aware, only you are the person that is paying attention, you're denying the influence of other people. You're creating a false narrative where only you are in control and where everyone else is your puppet. So pay attention to how you see other people. The third sign that you're a manipulative person is that you only see your own impact on other people. You don't see how other people impact you. You don't notice how other people influence your feelings and actions. You don't see how other people serve a positive impact in your life. Manipulative people tend to focus only on how they can influence others and tend to be blind to how other people can influence them. You might have developed to become manipulative because it helped you navigate the difficult environment. Perhaps you had unpredictable and difficult people in your life or in your family and being manipulative was your only way to protect yourself, to anticipate their actions and to protect yourself from their behaviors and mannerisms. However, being manipulative in a longer perspective can make you neglect your own life. Often, highly manipulative people also tend to feel very unfulfilled with their own lives. They have little time to think about and consider their own needs and feelings because they're so focused on other people's lives and decisions. If you can focus more on yourself and less about other people or how other people do things, you'll find yourself creating a happier and more successful life for yourself. Instead of thinking about how to navigate other people's difficult and unpredictable actions and behaviors and trying to predict what they are thinking, instead try to introspect and think about and understand your own feelings and needs and decisions. Why am I doing what I do and how can I live a happier life for myself? Thank you so much for watching and if you got this far, don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe. See you all in the next video.